Nueces County Clerk Kara Sands giving her elections office a vote of confidence. She is. That's after the loss of two top employees just days before tomorrow's big election day. Our Greg Chandler joins us now live from the Nueces County Courthouse. And Greg, it, Sands really sounded pretty confident in that clip we just heard. Should voters be confident as well? They should, Katya. See, County Clerk Kara Sands says she'll have a team of more than 250 people working tomorrow, including her staff, temporary employees, election judges, as well as volunteers. And that's why she's not worried even after losing two people so close to the primary. Nueces County lost its elections manager and elections coordinator just days before the primary. However, County Clerk Kara Sands says the county's polling places are ready to go, and so is her staff. This is a well-oiled machine, and my entire office comes together for every election. One person cannot run this election. Two people can't run this election. Sands says the election manager's departure was planned after he accepted a job in the private sector. He trained and transitioned someone to take his place. So we're good. But the election coordinator's resignation was sudden. Sand says it stems from a letter mistakenly sent out with mail-in ballots. She says most of the coordinator's job happened before the primary, but another staffer will assume their election day duties. My staff is cross-trained, they're professional, and they're ready to go. As for the primary, despite low early voting numbers, Sands expects a super turnout Tuesday. There's a lot of factors involved. You know, people are waiting for you know, South Carolina. And polls tomorrow, of course, open at 7 a.m. They'll be open until 7 p.m. If you're running a little late getting to voting, if you're voting around 7 o'clock, as long as you're in line by 7, you'll be able to vote. That's what Sands told me earlier today. As long as you're in line by 7, you'll be able to vote no matter how long it takes. Reporting live at the county courthouse, Greg Chandler. Chris 6 News. That's how it goes. All right. Thanks, Greg. For a complete list of polling locations, just visit our website, ChrisTV.com.